Hi and welcome to my maths class. Today we are going to discuss grouped data. Now when we are given data and the data is a lot, instead of working with all the data as separate data, what we do is we start grouping the data. Now when we group the data, it is better to first start by drawing a tree diagram because a lot of times group data or large amount of data is not given in order. Now from your previous work or your revision of grade 9 work, if you looked under central tendency, you would have seen we had discussed how to do a tree diagram. Now let us do a tree diagram for the following. If we are going to do a tree diagram, you can see that we have quite a large amount of numbers but they are working with tens. So we are going to start with 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Then we are going to put in our information. We've got 29. So under 2 I'm going to put a 9. And then we've got 30, 47, 46, 51, 38, you need to make sure that you know how to do a tree diagram because you need a tree diagram for frequency tables and frequency tables are used in grade 11 and in grade 12. Now what you would notice is that the values are not in order. So once you've done it, you redraw it. You can see we only need from 2 to 8. So if you don't want to go and put on the zeros and the others, you don't need to. You can simply say, okay, I'm doing 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Because those are the only values that we actually used. Now 8 was easy, 7 was easy. Then 6 is already in order, 1, 2, 8. Let's look at the top one. Now we're going to do all the others. We can see 2 comes first. So by 20 we're going to have 2, then 3, and then we've got the 6, and then we've got the 2 9. So now you have to put the data in order. Now, I advise you to now count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 8, 29, 30, 31, 32. And when they started, they told us we have 32 learners. So when you're doing this, double check. If you make a mistake with your tree diagram, then you tend to lose marks on everything else. Now, how does our tree diagram help us? Once we have the tree diagram, we can now make a frequency table. A frequency table means we limit our information. If you look at your tree diagram, when we're doing a frequency table, we usually link it to this. So what are they saying? When we're doing a frequency table, The frequency table will say, which group do we have? So, what are our marks? But we're not going to write all the marks. We're now going to group it. So, we can say from 0, x to 10, 10 to 20, 20 to 30. Now, where am I getting this information from? You see, if you look here, 20 to 30, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. I'm taking the information from here. Now we didn't have a 0 to 10. Remember there was nothing on that level and there was nothing on. From 0 to 10 there was nothing. From 10 to 20 there was nothing. Then I've got 30 to 40, 40 to 50, 50 to 60, 60 to 70, 70 to 80, 
and then 80 to 90 and 90 to 100. Now what you would notice is that these are inequalities. When you looked at 30, can you see the 30, the 3, 0? It was in the row of 30 to 40. So what we do is we include the first line, but we do not include the last line, which means if I had a 30, 30 would not go between this group 20 and 30. The value 30 would go under 30 to 40. Now, how do we put in the frequency? Frequency means how many times is it repeated. So if I look between 20 and 30, how many numbers are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So between 20 to 30, the frequency is 5. 30 to 40, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then 40 to 50, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 50 to 60, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 60 to 70, 1, 2, 3. 70 to 80, 1. 80 to 90, 1. What is our total? 32. Now what have we created here? If you look, you drew the tree diagram. Now you had made a frequency table. So what we had done is, we had created a frequency table. Frequency table meaning that we had created the groups. Now look at the last question. This is what you are actually trying to learn. Is how do we do the mean, median and mode of grouped data? Now you had already done central tendency for data that is not grouped. But how do we do group data? How do we do central tendency for grouped data? Now the mode meant most repeated. So if you look, if we're talking about mode, it still means most repeated. But where is it most repeated? It is most repeated in the following group. So the mode is between 40 and 50. Then what is the median? Median meant the middle. When we're looking at the middle, we know there are 32 terms. Now we're talking of median. We know that it is 32 terms. From the previous videos we had learned that if I wanted to do median, I had to look at the middle number. So it would be 32 divided by 2 which is 16 but from this we knew that the median is 16 we know if it's an even number when it's an even number then I'm looking at 16 and 17 so if I divided here I'm looking at 16 and 17 now where is 16 and 17 lying 16 and 17 if you take this it's 5 5 plus 5 is 10 10 plus 10 is 20 do you understand what I'm doing I'm saying 5 then at this level, I've actually covered 10 terms because I've got 5 plus 5. And then at this level, I've covered 20 terms. So 16 and 17 lie in this specific row. So what is the median? The median is going to lie between 40 and 50. Can you see the median is not one fixed number. It is a group because we are doing grouped data. Now, how do we do the how do we do the mean from here you need to start learning how to use your calculator the mean is your average in order to do the average you first need to calculate the midpoint of each group if we take our frequency table what you need to do is you need to calculate the midpoint of each group now, how do we calculate the midpoint? Exactly how you had done it in analytical geometry. You're going to say 10 plus 0. So look, I'm taking the, I'm taking the first and the last numbers. 10 plus 0 and I'm going to divide it by 2. So I'm saying 10 plus 0 divided by 2, which is going to equal to 5. And then I'm going to say 20 plus 10, which is 30, 
divided by 2. 20 plus 10 divided by 2. So, it is 15. Then I am going to say 20 plus 30 divided by 2. 20 plus 30 divided by 2 which is 25. Now, by now you should see a pattern, but if you are unsure you can keep on going. 40 plus 30 divided by 2 and then we have got 50 plus 40 divided by 2. So, you know what I am doing, I am trying to get the midpoint of each value. Again 70 plus 60, you are going to do it for all of them. By now you should see a pattern, so you know this is going to be 65, 75, 85 and we can say 95, but we do not really need 95. Now, you have to start using your calculator. Now, when you set your calculator, you need to be careful. First, you are going to press shift and mode because you need to make sure that your calculator is in the correct setup. So, you are going to press shift and mode. Remember that I am using an FX82 ZA. The FX82 ZA plus is a very good calculator to use and it is very handy for data. You can use the other calculators, but this is the calculator that I have used. Now, you are going to go down and you are going to go to number, you are going to press your arrow down basically and it will show you a thing called three stats. So, it is going to show stats which is number three. Then it is going to say frequency number one on or number two off. You are going to press number one because we want the frequency to be on. Then it goes back to 0. Now you are going to press mode. Mode it will say 1 computer, 2 stats and number 3 table. So we are going to go to number 2 which is stats. Then we are going to press number 1 which is variance. Now you will see 2 columns. You will see x which is going down and next to it will be freq which is frequency. Now under x is what you are going to put your midpoint. So all the midpoints that we calculated that is what we are going to put under x. So, you are going to go 5 and if you press equal to it actually goes downwards right. It does not go to the right hand side. Now, for number 1 if you look at the first column we actually have 0 and then we have 0. Now, for the first one we got 5 and then you press equal and you see it goes down. So, you go 5 and then 15 25, 35, 45, 55, 65, 75, 85, 95. Now, you will see as you are pressing it under your frequency table, it goes automatically 1. So, if you leave your frequency on, it does not usually cause a problem. Now, what do we write under frequency? Now, under frequency, we are going to enter all the digits we have in our column. So, we have got 0, 0, 5, 5. Now, remember every time I am saying 5, 5, I am pressing an equal to button. 10 equal to, 7 equal to, 3 equal to, 1 equal to, 1 equal to. And then under 95, you must press your 0. 0 equal to. After you have entered all your data, you are going to press AC. Then you are going to press shift 1. And under shift 1, they are going to give you 1 is type, 2 is data, 3 is sum, 4 is variance and 5 is minimum or maximum. We are going under number 4 which is variance. So, we are going to number 4 which is variance and then you will see under that there will be a number 2 which has the sign. In our previous video, I had told you that this specific sign meant mean or what you would call average. So, what we are going to do is we are now going to press 2 and as soon as you press equal to, it will give us our average which is equal to 46,56. And that is how you calculate mean. You have to get comfortable with your calculator. There is other ways of doing it, but the mark allocation for this is not worth all the effort. So, we could have went and we could have said, okay, I have got 5, 25. So, you could press 25, 25, 25, 25, 25 plus 35, 35, 35. So, you could go and you could press those values 5 times and 5 times and 10 times and 7 times and 3 times and 1 time and 1 time. But that is very time consuming and there is no mark allocation for that. So, all this work that we have done here on your calculator work, 
it's worth maybe two or three marks. Now for two or three marks, you cannot speak 20 minutes. You need to learn how to get to use your calculator and you need to know how to use your calculator because in grade 11, we use it for almost everything and as for grade 12, we use it for everything. So make sure you are comfortable with your calculator. Variance and then mean, average. So try and calculate your average with your calculator. Thank you for watching.